I'm just going through some of the uh, radios I've had in my collection that have been stored away for a while. This is an RP30 hacker. Um, it's been stored away for probably four or five years now. I did a repair on it before I put it away, um, and it was working fine. It has been recapped. Um, I switched it on just now. It was drawing a lot of current, and the um, set was totally dead. I injected an IF signal into it. Nothing, no response at all. The amplifier was working. Um, and unfortunately, it's a classic problem with the mullard um, and transistors, the uh, tin whisker syndrome again. This is the back of the set, FM only. Um, you can see in here, this is a pretty basic layout. It's got the, the large Guzman speaker. Here's the audio amplifier. Um, you've got the traditional hacker system of using a plug to plug into the uh, audio amplifier. Um, these caps were all tested at the time and were okay. I'm not sure if they're still so good now. Um, however, the audio sounds good when it's working. But let me just try and demonstrate to you the um, the problems of these transistors. And there's a good way of finding. It doesn't always work, but a good idea if you can find a faulty transistor without actually removing it. Here's the uh, one of the bastards that always causes so much problem. This is the AF117. Uh, any the AF11 series will uh, cause this Tim Whisker syndrome. If you give the transistor a tap, okay, that one's working okay. Um, it's the volume of a bit so you can hear it better. Try the bottom transistor here. I think on target, so they've been pretty good from the chances that they've created. You just wonder if either side's got one more chance in them to create that it. Sounds fairly good. Oh, look, the transistor's. DW, Graham Beecroft, it's still Wigan Athletic so Two, Leicester City Whiskers. One, there's been a, a ranch of... Uh, there's one at the top of the first IF yeah. transistor at the top here. One or two cowboys have come on as well, and, uh, they, but uh, Wigan Athletic still holding on here by two goals. So when I say holding on, they've had opportunities, but they've also uh, been at the other end of the field. Leicester City have had their chances. Mares has come yeah. on as a substitute shot from 25 yards, turned away by Habsi. He then had a really good opportunity on 70... There you go, totally dead, so it's totally died again. Um, current consumption's increased slightly, not hugely. Two less to one, it's end to end. So, Nazpremji. So, Park, Naz that is the main problem with these, uh, these are set. Um, that's the first thing to test um, before you do anything else, so just check for shorts between the screens and the, uh, the three junctions of the transistors. Give them the zap, that often works. You can also try removing the, the screen connection. That often is uh, quite successful, though usually if they've got tin whiskers, they've usually, um, they're going to be shorting all the junctions out of the transistor as well. You can see the connections there, you've got collector, screen, base and emitter. But apart from that, this is a nice radio. It's obviously going to have the transistors taken out and be re-zapped. I don't think I ever did it on this set. So. Thanks for watching.